everyone. Welcome to this next Yoga with Amy video. I'm in a different location today in my mama's house, which means that I am joined by a very special guest. I'm going to attempt to show you this special guest without ruining the placement of the camera. And her name is Pickle. She's here to support me throughout my Yoga with Amy video today. Hi Pickle. Today I thought we'd do a little bit of a warrior sequence. So this is great if you need that bit of extra confidence, you need to feel strong, you want to have a powerful and stable stance in your practice, or maybe if you're just not 100% sure that you've got the warrior postures yet and you'd like to just have a little go at it. So let's get started on the mat. I hope you can all see me okay. So we're gonna start lying down today. So come to lie down on your mat and stretch your legs out long. Have a shuffle around if needs be. And then from here, we're just gonna spend a few moments connecting to the breath and assessing how you feel today. So you may wish to place a hand on the belly, just to feel that expansion of the breath with every inhale. And these first few minutes of any yoga practice are really crucial for just focusing our mind setting our goals and intentions for the practice. Even thinking about how we want to be throughout the rest of our day. Do we want to be productive? Do we want to be relaxed and calm? What do you want to be today? Perhaps you've got something big coming up and you need to have some confidence and strength. And throughout the practice, you may even want to repeat a little mantra. I am strong. Just repeat those words in your head or out loud as we go through the movements today. And then from here, on an inhale, you're gonna just gently raise the knees up towards the chest. So rounding the back here, bringing the knees all the way up to the chest, give yourselves a big hug. Say well done for getting on your yoga mat today and giving yourself this time. So gently use the hands to pull the knees in towards the body. You can even lift the head up and give yourselves a really big hug here. And then we're gonna take the hands onto the kneecaps and we're just gonna circle the knees. Again, moving slowly with the rhythm of the breath. And take the knees back in the opposite direction. And then we're just going to inhale, raise both of the soles of the feet up to the sky. Really try and press the heels into that imaginary ceiling, pulling the toes towards the face. So you should feel a really nice stretch through the hamstrings here. You can raise the arms up and overhead and then exhale again, tuck the knees in towards the body and give yourselves a big hug here. We're going to roll onto our right side to come back up and we're going to meet here in tabletop position. So this is the start of our weight bearing postures. We've got the weight now traveling through both hands and both knees. 
So if you are on a hard floor, you might want to grab some padding for your knees here. Just use this as an opportunity to see how, resist, how the resistance of your hands on the ground allows you to then lift up through the shoulders and lift up through the core and through the legs as well. So there's a rooting down happening through the hands and through the knees and then there's a natural lifting up as we resist our weight on the ground. So this is a first posture where we can feel really nice and strong here. It shouldn't be all floppy, you shouldn't be flopping into the shoulders, flopping into the belly. You're going to press into the fingertips to engage the shoulders, engage the belly. And then as you inhale, begin to lift sit bones to the sky and chest to the front of the room. And then exhale, tuck the tailbone under, tuck the head under to round into that lovely C shape. Inhale, again pressing into the fingers to not lose that little bit of engagement in the belly. And then exhale round. We can bend the elbows slightly as we do this and make it a really flowing movement. You can start to rock a little bit. And then we can even have a wiggle from side to side as well. Working a little bit into the neck. And then from here we're just going to exhale, bring the sit bones back towards the heels. Creep the hands forward and just use this to take a nice big stretch in your child's pose. So we're continuing to reach the fingertips forward, bringing the forehead down towards the mat. And if you can't get your bum all the way down on your heels, don't worry, we can do it here. We can have the bum slightly raised up again. Don't let the belly go too floppy here. A little bit of engagement. And then just slowly creep the hands back so that we're here in our all fours position. Then you're going to step up the right foot and what we're going to do is just make sure that we've got the right foot nicely planted into the ground here. So you should have all five toes down on the mat so you can either lift all five toes up and then place them back down just to make sure you've got that there. And then you want to feel an equal weight traveling down through the foot in all directions. So we've got a really solid grounding into the right foot. So we're going to use this grounding down through the right foot and through the left knee to allow us to lift up. Inhale into our first warrior type position. And this position does take a lot of effort because you've got to really engage and pull everything towards the center. So you've got your core engaged, you've got all the leg muscles firing up as well, and that just allows us to balance. And if we feel okay to do so, we can lift our arms up and look towards the sky. Then exhale down. We're gonna swap over, bringing the left leg up. Again, get that really solid planting down into the ground with the left foot. So engage the left leg muscles and then engage the right leg as well and the core as you rise up see how your balance is today if that still feels a bit wobbly we can just bring the hands onto the hips and just really work on gathering everything towards the center so that we're not wobbling out the knees not dropping out we feel really strong here and as i said in the intro with every breath feel free to say I am strong, inhale, might want to raise the hands up in the air, exhale, hands come down and then we're going to come up into standing so you can do this in whichever way you wish so just stepping up or using something to hold on to and then here we're going to just pause in Tadasana, which is our mountain pose. And again, this is really important for the feet, having 10 toes planted into the mat, having our heels down and feeling the weight evenly spread between both feet. 
that gives us a really strong foundation to then rise up through the rest of the body so we're not slumping over like this. We're really alert in our Tadasana pose. Big smiles. And then again, we might want to just raise the arms up, have a big stretch. And with our arms in the air, we can feel what it's like to lift all the way from our feet, through the spine, all the way out the crown of our heads and through the fingertips as well. And then we're gonna exhale and forward fold. So we're bending the knees deeply here. Just gonna fold forward, wake up the hamstrings a little bit. So have the knees bent as generously as you wish here. And then we're gonna bring the sit bones all the way up to the sky. You can even put your hands on your bum just to see what that feels like to lift the sit bones all the way up. And then make sure that you feel nice and relaxed in your shoulders, so releasing any muscles here, and in your neck. And you can just nod and shake your head. Remember to keep breathing here. We're gonna inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, inhale, bend the knees, and again, take that lovely lift, rooting down through the feet and rising up through the body. Okay, we're gonna have a little bit of a shake off before we start our warrior pose. We're gonna do warrior one first. Inhale and take the right foot back. So we're stepping back with our right foot now and forward with our left foot. And then just take a moment to have a look at where your feet are placed. So you might wanna bring the left foot slightly further left and the right foot further right, if you feel that gives you better stability in this posture. Again, lift up all five toes on the left foot, plant them back down, make sure we feel really strongly connected to the mat here. But don't forget about that back right foot. So make sure you've got the whole of the back foot on the ground, including the heel. And if that's not possible, then bring that right foot further forward in order to place the whole of the foot down, because otherwise we're gonna feel a bit unsteady. So from here, get your weight centered. So if you're leaning forward like this, just bring yourself back. Make sure you feel like there's a plumb line traveling all the way down from the center of the crown of your head, through the tailbone and down towards the floor. Then you're gonna inhale here. Raise the hands up if you wish. Feel that stretching across the front of the body and the chest. And then exhale down. I'm gonna take the arms around the back so it looks like this. Holding onto the elbows. Inhale here, press the left big toe down into the mat and then straighten that left leg. Feel the connection of the front and back foot on the mat and then just gently begin to fold here as you exhale. That will really fire up that left hamstring. Don't worry if you can't go too far, it's all about keeping nice and open and relaxed in the shoulders. Don't let the belly go floppy. So just a light engagement here of the core. Inhale, bend into that front left leg and lift all the way up. And then we're gonna inhale and begin to step the left foot forward. And I'm just gonna readjust on my mat here. But from here, we're gonna move straight into a warrior three, which is a fantastic posture for being, feeling strong, feeling balanced, but it does take a lot of practice. So we're gonna inhale and then begin to exhale and tilt like a little teapot as we begin to bring the right leg up and the body comes further to the ground, but it doesn't have to be parallel yet. You can even hold on to the wall or hold on to something if that helps you, because what we're really trying to get is the left foot grounding down and the right leg lifting, but make sure that we've not tipped out to the side. So really try and direct the right toes down towards the mat. And take three breaths here if you can. Again, it's really nice to say, I am strong. And then when you've taken
taking three breaths here. Test yourself, bring that right foot back in gently and then place it down on the ground. And again, come back to Tadasana. Assess how the body, how the mind is feeling. Maybe even close the eyes here. Make sure we've got our weight evenly balanced throughout the feet. On your next inhale, take the left leg back. So we've got left leg back, right leg forward. And again, we're just going to readjust the feet here to make sure we've got that really balanced stance. So instead of the feet being one behind the other, we want a little bit of a space between our feet. So just maybe shift the right leg to the right, the left leg to the left. Make sure that our whole, the whole of our right foot and the whole of our left foot is in connection with the mat. We're going to have a bit of a bend in that front leg. Back leg should be straight. And the hip points should be pointing forwards in this position. So in our warrior one poses, we've got the hip points forward in front of us. We're not out towards the side. Again, if you're leaning forward, just bring your body weight so that it's directly in between the two legs. Then you're going to inhale here, take the arms all the way up. Feel that lovely stretch across the front line of the body. And then exhale, arms come down. Take hold of your elbows behind your back, which looks like this. Inhale, press into the big toe of the right foot and begin to straighten that right leg. Inhale again here. And then we're just going to gently fold forward. So we're folding from the hip points here. We're not moving the legs. We're just folding forward. We probably won't go too far because our arms are here to keep this natural curve in the lumbar spine. Obviously, if we were to round, we could go a bit further, but we want to really keep this nice, long, relaxed spine and neck. So inhale. Exhale, maybe go a little bit further. Then inhale, press into the big toe ball of the right foot and then bend the right knee, begin to bring the body back up. You can have another little stretch here. Inhale, exhale, and we'll just bring that left foot towards the front. Maybe readjust on your mat. And we're gonna come into our warrior three position. So take hands onto hips. And begin to tilt forwards like a teapot, bringing the left toes up off the ground. Again, we're trying to keep these hip points facing down. So grounding down into the right leg to rise up through the leg. And just check your back foot. Make sure that the toes are pointing down. Engage the belly here. Bring it all together. Exhale. Bring that left foot down, and then you might want to have a big old shake here. And we're going to do a little bit of warrior two. So we've done warrior one, <clears throat> which is like this, with the hips pointing forward, and we've had a go at warrior three. So hopefully we're feeling really nice and strong already. So for warrior two, we're going to have the legs wide, and body facing forwards to start with. <clears throat> you can obviously adjust the legs to however wide it feels comfortable. You don't want to be overstretching the groin. And then when we feel like we've got a good wide leg position, we're going to spin on the heel of our left foot to point the left toes towards the left side of the room. Now our hips won't be pointing directly towards the side. You'll have them on a little bit of a diagonal, which is totally normal. And from here, we're just going to gently turn the right toes in just a little bit. What we do want is obviously the hips are on a diagonal. We want the chest pointing towards the side of the room. Then you're going to have a slight bend in your left leg and raise your arms up here, looking towards your left fingertips. If this feels too difficult and it feels like too much of a stretch through the hips and the leg, then do bring that back foot in a little bit and try again, see if that gives you more stability here. And if you feel like this is way too easy, then you can 
bring the right foot back a little bit and try again and then try and sink a little bit further down into that front leg. If you have leaned forwards here, bring your weight back so we've got this lovely long line down the centre of the body. And again, we want to feel that connection with the feet on the mat, allowing us to really lift up and be strong in our warrior. And again, you can say to yourself, I am strong. We're gonna inhale and begin to straighten the left leg and bring both feet now to face the front. So our hips facing the front, our feet are face, facing the front. And we're just gonna do a wide-legged forward fold here. So we're gonna inhale, place the hands on the hips, put a little bit of buoyancy into the knees because we don't wanna be locking out too much here. And then as you exhale, we're gonna fold here from the hips so we're not bending anything else. We're keeping the back nice and long, but we're just folding from the hips. You might get here, you might get further. If you want to try and place your hands down on the ground and let your head relax, you can do. Or you might want to place your hands on your legs. And again, just see if you can fold forwards, allowing your head and neck to relax. So with every breath, feel the spine, the neck, the head relaxing. But you want to feel that nice connection between the feet and the sit bones, allowing us to ground down and then lift the sit bones up just as we did in our forward fold earlier. Place a small bend into the knees and we're just going to rise up. You can come up halfway if you wish first and then straightening the legs, we're going to come all the way up, maybe circle the shoulders, have a little shake. Inhale, point the toes of the right foot to the other side of the room. And then from here, we can adjust where we have that back leg. If that feels a bit too far or a bit too near, just make your own adjustments. Again, our hips will be on a kind of diagonal, but want to bring the chest to the side of the room. Inhale and smile, bring your arms up, and then take a little bit more of a bend in that front knee. But what you don't want is this front knee to be collapsing inwards, and you don't want to be tipping too far over the toes, so make sure you've got either a 90 degree angle or bigger than 90 degrees. We don't want to be tipping the knee over the toes. Inhale, look towards that right hand. So this middle finger, that's your point of focus when you've got your hands up. Inhale and exhale and really try and keep your attention on your fingers here. Feel the connection of both feet in the ground, allowing you to lift and be really strong in your warrior two. So you can say, I am strong. Inhale, exhale, and then walk your heel back in so that the feet are both facing the side of the room now. And again, we're gonna do a wide-legged forward fold. So you're gonna place your hands on your hips. So remember, we're folding from the hip points here. Make sure we're not locking the knees out. So pressing into all 10 toes. Inhale, exhale. We're gonna keep the back nice and long for now. And then when you have reached a comfortable place, we can then allow the back, the neck, the head to release. And again, using this resistance of the feet on the mat to really draw up through the legs and draw up the sit bones. Inhale, come back up halfway. And then we're going to heel toe the legs in and come back to Tadasana one more time. So you might want to close the eyes here. I want to shake out the legs first. Shake out the body. See how you feel. And then we're going to gently come back down into our Shavasana.
to finish off the practice. So lying down, and this is so important to do at the end of every single yoga practice, so no matter what we've done, it's really nice to just lie back down on the mat and give ourselves time to really allow the practice to absorb in the body. And a really nice thing to do is to just count maybe 12 breaths while you're here and try and keep that attention on your breaths. So let's go. Again, you can place a hand on the belly. There's no need to change the breaths here. We're just observing the natural flow of the breaths. So if you find yourself trying to make your breaths much bigger, just try and let that control go. And allow your breaths to come back to that quiet whisper of the resting breath. And with every exhale, just allow the muscles of your body to relax. And to feel supported by the mat. You can stay here for as long as you like. Remember, this is your time that you've given to yourself to do a little bit of yoga, to feel better, to look after yourself. And when you are ready to come out, don't rush it. Just gently bring the knees up, rolling onto the right side. And using your hands slowly come back up to a seated position. So I hope you all enjoyed that and you're feeling good, you're feeling confident and strong. That's really the beauty of the warrior postures because you've got this strong stance, it allows you to rise up and feel really good about yourself. So thank you for watching, please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, whatever you want to do and I will see you at the next video. Bye! Thank you.